Common bench press fold is flaring of the elbows. In order to correct this, we need to make sure our grip is in the right position. We're breaking the bar towards our hips and our arms end up vertical in both planes at the bottom of the lift. The correction of this fault can be seen from the top view here, where we're bending the bar, putting pressure through our little fingers towards our hips, breaking it in this fashion here. This allows us to keep our elbows under our hands. Another bench press fault is moving the feet when we're bench pressing. In order to generate as much power as we can through the bar, we need to keep a stable base. We need to ensure that we keep our feet planted, transfer the pressure from our feet through our quads, through our glutes and into the tips of our shoulders. When executing the bench press, another common fault is opening the shoulder blades at the top of the lift. When we open the shoulder blades, we allow the shoulder joint itself to travel through a large range of motion. In doing so, we subject some of the small muscles that control the position of the shoulder to large loads that they're not designed to accommodate. As you can see here, the shoulder moves through quite a range of motion when the scapula is allowed to move. By pinning the scapula back and down, we create a stable position for which we can bench press and ensure that we have durable shoulders for the duration of our bench pressing. Another common fault with the bench press is thrusting the hips off the bench on the way up. This can only occur if the tension that was acquired during the setup has not been maintained and the arch collapses. If the arch is maintained, pressure through the glutes is maintained, there is no need to thrust the hips from the bench because they would still be under constant tension. 